What's up guys, Joey Bradford here from The Use, and today I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite presets from my SDL Tone Hub preset pack. <laughs> I'll try one more. Go, obvious blase, broken so completely, built me up in the same way. All right, let's jump into my presets. So uh, one of my favorite presets to use in an ambient world is uh, my preset number 29. It's my orange crush, my little baby amp, which I love how the clean tone sounds. And we've put a bunch of effects on here. So we have a chorus and we have a phaser. And as you can see, the depth is pretty strong on the phaser. It's something I like to do for kind of a layer for a verse and maybe a hip hop song or maybe something that's a little bit more psych rock, something like that that I'm producing. But this is the sound we get. Not a ton of applications for it, but when you can find a spot for it, it sounds so good. The combination of that, that orange clean channel, um, the super dynamic phaser, I'll say. It is glassy, but it also, you can really feel the depth and, and feel the level in there, which I love. Um, so this is, yeah, one of my favorite ambient sounds. Kind of non-practical, but I love it. <laughs> All right, so this is one of my favorite presets uh, for a solo, especially if you're just jumping right into something, you need something easy to just pull up and get ready to shroud your epic flying solo. So this is uh, my channel 25. It's a Mesa Boogie Lone Star. It's on dirty channel number one, and we added some toys to it. So I added a compressor. Everything's at about 12 o'clock. Uh, some overdrive as well. I, popped a little bit more high end on the tone just to kind of dampen the mid range of the actual amp. And we also have added some delay. Let's play it. With the forever trail on there, there's a lot of wiggle room. There's a lot of give with this sound and it makes me uh, confident to play stuff that may be a little bit harder to play. So this is one of those settings that I'll open up if I have something really complicated with a lot of bends and a lot of vibe in it that puts me in the right place to play the part. A lot of times this ends up being the tone that I'll use, but even if it isn't, it's a great tone to play with and a great tone to, to record your solo with. And I love that one. So let's move into one of my all time favorite heavy tones. This is the Bad Cat Lynx. This is Dirty Channel 2. And this is just an amp through a cabinet, no effects, no compression, no anything. And this to me is something that I love to grab to play any aggressive song. This is a great place to start. I do have a bunch of heavy tones that I really, really like within the preset pack, but this is one that. Um, I not only love the preset, I love the head. They sound very, very similar and they react pretty much the same exact way. So this was a cool place to start. Sounds like this. Love that one, that's a big beefy one.
Love jamming on that one. Channel 6, Bad Cat Lynx, Dirty 2. Heavy. It's really good for you. Let's move into a preset that I use quite a bit for, um, you know, on a chorus, like layering a rhythm guitar, just some power chords. You know, once you start layering it, it just gets bigger and bigger, but you get the clarity of each note on the guitar, which is important to me. A lot of my presets maybe have a little bit less gain that you might end up with in your final product, but you can really hear the tone of the guitar and what the guitar is trying to do as well. So um, this is my Friedman BEBB, and this is the Dirty Channel, which is another thing that I've been using live for the past couple years for all of my rhythm channels. So yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of clarity to it. I love it. Love that. That's my that's my rhythm channel. I use that quite a bit. Um, like I said, there's there's a bunch of dynamic built into this amp, and the way it reacts within uh, the tracing amplifier is the same way that the amp reacts when I'm messing with it as well. So that's an exciting one to play with, and um, I feel like that one's going to be used quite a bit. So get out there and use it. Last but not least, my clean channel. And just like my heavy channel, I have quite a bit of cleans built into this preset pack that I'm super proud of and, and things that I use quite a bit. But for the sake of picking one, we're gonna start with the Mesa Boogie Lone Star Clean Channel 2. This is my preset number 24. And this is just, you know, it's not too much top end to where you're really gonna start to lose the feeling of the guitar and the amp. There's enough of the mid and low built into this clean that um, gives me the opportunity to, to use a compressor to make the strings stick out a little bit more rather than relying on the tone of the amp. So, uh, which is something we have on here. We have the compressor, everything's at 12. The, the amp has pretty low gain staging. Um, and like I said, it's a clean channel. So, and there's no effects. So here's how it sounds. <laughs> really glassy it has some warmth to it and body which is really good with clean because i like to dig in so the compression is going to um you know kind of roll off on how aggressive i like to hit the guitar and the warmth of the amp is going to make up for how hard i'm digging in so it really just sounds like the perfect clean amp in my opinion <laughs> works really good for songs like that, like Taste of Ink and um, All That I've Got. And then songs like The Lighthouse, I would also use something like this. Good sounding clean right there. Treat yourself. Channel 24.